Today, we are going to be predicting the winners of the top 10 leagues in Europe. And these are the UEFA rankings. And we will also be predicting the top goal scorer from these competitions. So here we go. We'll go from number 10 all the way to number 1, the Premier League. So let's start off with the Swiss Super League in Switzerland here. I think for the past few seasons, there is one team clear of every other team in the division, and it is BSC Young Boys. Last season, they went on and won the league with more than 10 points clear, I think, and that is a huge margin. I think they'll do the same, if not better, this season. Their squad is just way better than every other team in the league, and I would be definitely surprised if they don't win the league. And the top goal scorer of this division this season will be Young Boys' striker. It is Jean-Pierre Ensign. And he has been the top goal scorer last season, I think. And he is basically the best player in the league. He is such a prolific striker. I think he will net in a lot of goals this season. And he will easily win the top goal scorer award. Moving on from the Swiss Super League, we have the Super League in Turkey. And for the past few seasons, it has been different winners every single year and last season it was Galatasaray now this season they have signed a lot of new players a lot of star players they have Wilford Saha they have Icardi who was here last season and we have Fernabarche who have just let go of Arda Guler but I think with the signing of Erin Dzeko and other key players like Ener Valencia, I think they'll do better than Galatasaray. Now don't forget other teams like Besiktas and Trabzonspor. They stand a chance, but I don't think they will have a better season than Fernabarche, so I'm gonna go with Fernabarche. I think on paper, Galatasaray is a better team, but I look forward to this Fernabarche team, and I can't wait to see them this season. And the top goal scorer, as I've mentioned, will be Edin Dzeko. Obviously, a very experienced striker. Last season, just won the Champions League with Inter, and after that, I think he will dominate this league he is old but he is still very very good he will do well in Fernabarche and I think he is going to absolutely destroy the Super League moving on to Portugal we have Liga Portugal here I have no idea why they are so low in the rankings only eighth I think they deserve to be higher but last season SL Benfica won the league quite easily they had kind of a drop off in terms of form after Enzo Fernandes left and only slightly won the league over FC Porto and Sporting Lisbon dropped off a bit last season. I don't think they will be able to compete against Porto and Benfica. So I think they'll finish third. And now on to who I think will win the league. I think in terms of the squads, I still think Benfica's better. I think they will win the title again. The winners will be Benfica. Now, despite a lot of key players leaving, we have Gonzalo Ramos leaving. Benfica is really, really good at finding exciting prospects. They sell top strikers to better teams and they just find another wonder kid out of nowhere and we have seen that from Darwin Nunez we have seen that with Gonzalo Ramos and it is going to happen again their scouting is unmatched it is really insane how they manage this club this squad is so balanced this team is really really underrated I think they're really really good and they will do well in the Champions League as well so there we go they will win the Liga Portugal and for the top goal scorer I think it will will be the striker from Porto, Taremi. With the departure of Gonzalo Ramos, Taremi will be the best striker in the league and I think he will win the top goal scorer award. I think he will score the most goals. Now on to League 1, the Uber Eats League. Now for Paris Saint-Germain, they were obviously the favorites for the past decade. They have been winning every single title, every season. It is insane. Now with the departure of star players, Messi, Neymar wants to leave and 
Mbappe wants to leave. I don't know what's going to happen to them. Now, even if all these players left, I think they are still way better than everyone else in League One. And I think they will still easily win the league. Now, there are teams like Marseille, Lyon, and other underdog teams. But are they going to come close to Paris Saint-Germain? I don't know. We'll see. I'm still going with PSG. They are still too good for this league. But the way they run this club, it is an absolute joke. They're never going to win the Champions League. But, you know, they can dominate their own league. But they're never going to win the Champions League. Now for the top goal scorer. Look, Mbappe isn't gonna play much this season. Even if he stays in this club. Neymar is leaving. Even if he is not. He's gonna be injured for half a season. Who I think will win it will be Jonathan David from Lille. Now, I don't know how well this club is going to do. But Jonathan David, he is getting another year older. He will be even more clinical. I think he will definitely shine in this league. He will bang in so many goals this season. He is a top prospect. Now, on to Netherlands. Eredivisie here. Last season, it was intense. We have Feyenoord winning the league. And a huge drop-off from Ajax, which is really, really unexpected. They had basically the worst season in the last decade. And... I think they'll come back from that. I think they'll win the league because this team is still really good. They're still keeping hold of good players. And I think with their scouting network, they'll just get good players out of nowhere and develop them into superstars. And despite many players leaving the club, I think they'll win the league this season. However, for the top goal scorer, I think will be the striker from Feyenoord. Santiago Gimenez, such a clinical striker. And he will score the most goals in... Eredivisie. The Jupiler Pro League in Belgium. I have no idea how they made it to the fifth best league in the world just because of one intense season. But there we go. They are here. Last season, it was such an intense title race. And this season, I think one team will go clear of every other team in the league. And I think the team winning this title will be Union Sangulois. They did well in Europa League last season. And I think they will be clear of every other team in this division. And I think they'll win the league easily. For the top goal scorer, I'm going with Hugo Kuipers. He is the best striker in the league. And I think he will be the top goal scorer of this league. Now moving on to the big boys. We have La Liga. This league dropped off massively for the past two to three years. And it's only Barcelona and Real Madrid competing. Now Ancelotti is not good at leagues. They might do well in the Champions League. But their own domestic league. When you look at his record. It is really really surprisingly bad. And Barcelona are really really good at defending their title in domestic leagues and despite Real Madrid having a much better team on paper Barcelona are going to win the league this season it's like Real Madrid doesn't care about La Liga it is really interesting how they run their club it's battling in the Champions League the 13 games they play each season and they don't do much in La Liga it is really really insane I don't know if it's good or bad obviously Champions League is a better competition to win than their own domestic league but the way Real Madrid do it, it is kind of weird. But, you know, they have a better squad depth than Barcelona. And I don't know why they focus on the Champions League so much and just ignores La Liga. Maybe it's because of Ancelotti, but I don't know. So Barcelona is going to win the league. I don't think it's going to be close. And the top goal scorer is going to be Robert Lewandowski again. There's absolutely no doubt. He is the only prolific goal scorer in the entire league. And I think everyone has to go for Robert Lewandowski as their top goal scorer in La Liga. Moving on to Germany, the Bundesliga. I think there's still only one clear winner. It has to be Bayern Munich because last season was Dortmund's best chance and they absolutely bottled it. And this season, Bayern Munich are going to absolutely destroy the Bundesliga. When you look at it, they just have unlimited power. They just bought Rafael Guerrero from Dortmund. It is unbelievable how they can just use the money to buy the best player 
players from their rivals and it's almost as if the other clubs in Bundesliga also gave up it's like they know they have no chance against Bayern Munich and despite on paper Bayern Munich and Dortmund are rivals as they say as the media say but you can't just spend money buy every player from your rivals buy every good player from the league and just win the league it is crazy how it works in Bundesliga but there we go Bayern Munich no other team can compete if it works like that the top goal scorer I'm gonna go with Serge Gnabry the winger seems to find his form again despite not being a striker I think he will score the most goals because no other player have the quality to be the top scorer of this league just yet so there we go I am going with Serge Gnabry now on to the second best league in the world apparently by the UEFA rankings is Syria in Italy now this season is going to be really really exciting for them we have four clear title contenders we have Inter Milan we have AC Milan Juventus and Napoli now Napoli won the league quite easily last season so many points clear of the second place and I think with the departure of their world-class manager despite still keeping Osman and Kefaratskilia I don't think they will win the league just because of the manager now I know they kept hold of their key players it is really really good they are two world-class players they are easily one of the best players in the entire world but are they going to do as well as last season I don't think so now on to AC Milan they sold Sandro Tonali to Newcastle and the key player they have is Rafael Leao now can he just carry the team to win the league I don't think so he has not done that last season and this season with an even weaker team I don't think he's going to do it now between Inter and Juventus I feel like Juventus are going to make a comeback season from last year they did horrendously last season and this season they will come back Chiesa is going to be healthy Flahovic will reach his top top form it will be his breakout season and Juventus are going to do so well but Inter just came back off of a Champions League final massive massive underdog run last season and now that they got rid of Lukaku hopefully I think they're going to win the league it is going to be Inter this team is really really underrated and now without the bomb of the dressing room Lukaku they are going to win the league it is going to be really really tough though for title contenders it will be very very exciting to watch now for the top goal scorer it will be Dusan Flahovic I think he will have a breakout season and he will be the top goal scorer on to the best league in the world by miles I think we can all agree on that the Premier League I have made a prediction already on this league and go watch that video now if you haven't I made a prediction of the entire table from the 20th to the first the winners of the league and I think you will be surprised by who I think the winners will be however the top goal scorer I think it is quite straightforward no doubt about it Erling Haaland I don't think anyone comes close he will win the top goal scorer it doesn't matter if Man City perform well or not he is still going to win the top goal scorer award and it is absolutely crazy him and KDB is the most deadly duo and it is absolutely unstoppable it is ridiculous but there we go this is my top 10 leaks predictions done and comment down below your predictions on who you think will win and the top goal scorers